Good morning. It is Wednesday, May 17th, 2023. Back here for Daily Shakeup number 719. And today I want to talk about words and this concept that words do matter. You know, they say that the eyes are the window to the soul. I would argue that perhaps our words are even more a window to our soul. I was reading a story this morning about a television news anchor who was fired recently. He was fired because he didn't know the mic was on, which apparently is some sort of out. And when he was on this hot mic, he referred to one of his co-anchors as the C-word. I'm not even going to say it. He got fired immediately for that. It didn't go on the air. And some people, not just some people, but apparently masses of people are upset about this. And they are talking about how it's, you know, over overly politically correct and how it is something about cancel culture, which has nothing to do with that whatsoever. The fact is, referring to someone with that word is wrong. It's just wrong. There's no discussion about it. If you want to have a discussion about me and tell me how it's right or it's not actually really wrong, then give me a call. Let's have that conversation. It's wrong. He did something wrong, which means he thought something wrong. You see, that's the thing. The words that come out of our mouth are indicative of what's in our minds and what's on our heart. And that's what we should be judged on. Not judging that this is necessarily a horrible person, but there will be an impact. There will be a consequence when our words have this impact. And it's not enough to say, I'm sorry. It's certainly not enough to say, I didn't know the mic was on because it's irrelevant. I have this saying that goes like this. If you're not willing to say something to everyone, don't say anything to anyone. In other words, your words and thoughts and what's in here should not be dictated by who happens to be in the room. So it's somehow okay to say certain things or tell a certain inappropriate joke because someone who might be offended is not in the room, like it's okay. No, it's just wrong. It's not respectful. And I don't know what happened to our culture, but we have lost our way because we need to get back to a place that we get back to treating people with respect with our actions and our words. That's it for today. Keep taking care of yourself and everyone around you. By all means, stay connected.